these curses is ridiculous. These people are dying fast. Fast. Look how fast. Are y'all bullshitting, bro? This build is fucking stupid. Alright, the build we're running for, uh, this is called the Bayou Warrior. Curative Curse, attacking the Curse target grants health equal to 25% of your damage done. Medic Mint, uh, increases second ground healing by 20%. And the Humbug, Curse target takes an additional 10% damage. So, it's really focused on curses. We're gonna definitely curse the target so he takes additional 10% damage, plus the additional damage that he takes from the ability by itself, which is gonna be... 25% so that's 35% damage. So I'm gonna try to get the healing here. My biggest thing is fighting on the point. Fighting on the point, cursing the target that's priority. So my team knows who's priority. Hopefully they burn him down. I mean, I'm gonna have to maneuver around and shield and stuff. My, probably my hardest thing with him is being cool F is being able to pop my shield. But if I just dance around the ring and then curse, focus on my cursed target and then keep basic attacking my cursed target, it should allow me to be able to stay in the fight. But I need to make sure I curse the right target. Jolly good choice. All right, we're gonna run boom. Just because bamboozle is not really a good ability team situation. What we're looking at is 35%, 35% uh, additional we damage to curse target. My beating heart. All right, if we're I gonna, have. we're gonna. This is my heal. I'm gonna pop my heal out. Make sure I stay around my heal and just do 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 do. Curse the target I need to focus on and just dance around, all right? Because my teammate's gonna receive the healing anyways from me just being around them. Anything that's green under them, they're receiving the healing, so. Okay. All right, I'm going for C. Okay, we wanna dismount them before they get in since we have a range attack. We wanna dismount so they can't just jump in a fight. All right, Jerry, just dismount him. Okay. Dismount. Healing over here. Villain's over here. Okay, that's the curse. He's cursed. They're taking objective C from us. Let's take it down. Boom. Easy dancing. Just dancing. Dancing. Uh, bravo. That's out of range. All we want to do is pack. Those scoundrels are five. Point C. Oh. Okay. Okay. Objectives we have to be. Uh. 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 Night night, okay. Good morning. Pop my off. Curse him. He's dead. Alright. I'm bow. Whole point. I shouldn't be afraid of anybody. I can take anybody at this point. Just fine. A little dancing. Just mount him so he can't charge in. Watch out for that. Fight him on the point. Okay, block that. Go ahead and pop the curse on him. Dodge that. And he's dead. Backing away. Backing away. I don't have my curse up. Save it. Boom. Oh, easy. And bow. Okay. My team's gonna go to A. I got a whole B. We got a cast now, so this is gonna be interesting. A lot of poke damage. Okay. I didn't even shield. I'm 
Now, okay. Why you warrior? That why you warrior? Objectives activated. Objective C is being stolen. Bye, you warrior. Now I'm about to buy you. There's this man called Kool Aid. Not Kool Aid, but Kool Aid. He over here with a snake around his neck. That boy over there, he's so cold with it. Can't nobody stop him. Can't nobody stop him. Oh shit. Double up on that. Let's curse him. Objective C. Uh, uh. That he he's so good. He's so good. I don't know why she went that way though. Cause we about to fight on the point anyways. Yeah. And he is cursed. And he is dead. And we gonna pop my art real quick. And there goes the heal, y'all. All right. Cool as easy, bro. The build that I have for him is really nice because you take a benefit of the curse more than anything. So let's run that back. Show you what we got, man. Damage is uh damage done is six thousand, bro. We out damaged uh, Buttercup. We out damaged Miko, and we almost out damaged almost. How damage it made. And we did more healing. Like, come on, bro. This build is good, bro. Let me show y'all the build one more time so y'all can take a look at it, bro. And this is what I was talking about. You don't have to build them around healing. All right? It's, it's not about that. All right? It's it's the passive healing that does its thing. The totem is only there for the fights. Put the totem down because you want to increase the damage going in to your enemies that's fighting inside your totem. And then you just prioritize the target by cursing the target that needs the priority to kill. All right? Simple. Not hard. Simple. All right, let's learn it back again. The Bayou Warrior, Curative Curse. Attacking the cursed target grants health equal to 25% of your damage done. This effect also applies to allies. So, Priest, what does that mean? This effect also applies to allies. It means when you are shooting. You're healing your teammates at the same time. Uh... Medic Mint increases second ground healing by 20%. We can actually drop that and get something better if we wanted to because I don't think it was just a little bit overhealed in that situation. We could have did a little bit more damage. Um, Humbug. Cursed targets take an additional 10% damage. So what does Cursed Targets already take, Preach? I don't know. According to his stat sheet, it says Cursed Targets automatically take 25%. So what's 25% plus another 10? 35% increased damage. Check out the build, y'all. Build's good. The Bayou Warrior with your boy, Kule.